Musa fam, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today was an exciting day. I got vaccinated. couldn't film anything inside of the vaccine center they didn't want any photography or video taken uh, just privacy I guess is what they wanted rather simple we just parked a car uh, across the street walked over they have several counters there you check in give them a, a, a worksheet that you uh, have to check off really easy I I said mo no to most of the questions except for one because I'm actually allergic to aspirin and I've had really bad reactions to uh, aspirin or I've had to actually go to the emergency room and uh, uh, make sure I didn't die from suffocation. <laughs> um, they have people at the vaccination center with bright orange flags waving you in the direction that they want you to go. And then uh, basically it took me about five minutes uh, from the time I entered into the vaccination center to actually getting my shot. Uh, and the people there were really nice. Um, uh, the uh, nurse who helped me, she was really friendly. Uh, the one funny thing she did uh, ask me uh, was, uh, is this is this your day off and I was like yeah, yeah it's my day off it's been my day off since last March <laughs> so after I, I got the shot I could make my second appointment for my vaccination because I need two shots for the Pfizer Pfizer and Moderna I think you need two shots and Johnson & Johnson you only need the one shot but because of the issues with the blood clotting with Johnson & Johnson uh, Johnson & Johnson was not available um, hey one of the reasons I wanted to get the vaccine as soon as possible is because my parents live in the Philippines and I haven't been able to see them for about a year and a half maybe maybe even two years I don't remember when the last time I saw them um, and my, my wife's parents live in Japan uh, and it looks like uh, countries are gonna be utilizing the vaccine passport so if you're vaccinated you'll be able to enter the country and uh, if I'm vaccinated, that means I'm going to be able to see my parents and my wife's going to be able to see her parents. And now uh, it's been a, about an hour and a half uh, since I got my shot. I haven't had any issues other than a little bit of a sore arm. Um, but they did say it, you could have side effects maybe one to three days after you, you received your shot. So um, I guess we'll just see what happens. Don't expect anything to happen, and um, but you never know. I'll keep you guys updated. We're just at the park uh, over here by my house, just killing some time before lunch, and then um, I'll probably just relax for the rest of the day, not do anything too strenuous because I don't know how I'm going to react later in the afternoon. But I don't expect anything to happen. <laughs> and after they gave me the shot, they gave me a little sticker. It says, and before I left, they gave me a little juice to drink. So the initial shot actually didn't hurt that much. It's just like a little pinch, uh, and uh, I, I'm. And for me, I really hate shots. Like drawing blood, oh, I can't even deal with it. Um, and so this was nothing. Uh, I could tolerate this, but uh, usually if I have to get a shot, I'm just not in the best of moods. <laughs> ah, I, just, I can't wait to go back, start traveling again, be able to visit my parents, um, and just and just be able to go back to normal life. Okay, 
I'll come over there. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye. How's that looking? How am I looking? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, so this is a one week update from when I got my shot, my vaccine shot, my COVID vaccine shot. Yeah, boy. <gasps> hey, where are your socks? That's crazy. Oh, man, that was pretty wild. What happened was I got really, really sick. I mean, I thought I had COVID. I mean, I thought I had to go to the hospital. That's how bad I felt. So it started off with a little pain on my left shoulder from where the shot was. Uh, the pain spread to my chest and then onto my other shoulder. Uh, and that was over the course of uh, maybe two days. And then the third day, I had a full body ache. I thought it was just gonna be a, a normal day. I went to the farmer's market, which is what I usually do every two weeks. Uh, hey, hi. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up. Well, that's the wrong one. And then after that, I uh, came home, cleaned the kitchen up a little bit. And then uh, after that, uh, after that, I wanted to take Ray to the park. So we went to the park and I met my condition just got worse. You know, it started off with just like a little body ache and then by about mid-morning I was a full body ache and so when we were at the park I just sat down and I did nothing <laughs> and I just watched Reito and uh, Chie play on the basketball court so I, so I just sat there for about an hour doing nothing after I got home I decided I didn't want to do anything so I just laid in bed for the rest of the day ate a little Hello. bit of dinner hi <laughs> ate a little bit of dinner and I just went to sleep early then the next day, day five from when I got my shot, I was really, really lethargic. I was tired. It's like I ran a marathon the day before. I was so tired. So I did nothing on day five. I just laid on my bed, didn't play with my kids. And then day six rolled around and I was about, I was uh, feeling a little bit better. I still had a little body ache, I was still tired, but I was definitely better than the previous two days. Uh, uh, but I still didn't do anything, I just laid down, ate soup, um, and did nothing. And then by day seven, I was basically back to normal. I didn't feel tired, I didn't feel any body aches. I've felt like nothing had happened. It took one week for my body to recover from my COVID vaccine shot. Yeah. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Not everybody gets sick. Like my wife didn't get sick. Some of my friends who've taken the vaccine didn't get sick. A couple people I do know did get sick, but um, it was like maybe for a day, half a day, uh, and they all felt better afterwards. Me, I took an entire week. <laughs> uh, so, I'm not looking forward to getting my second shot, but I'm gonna get it. I'm wondering if anybody else out there had the same experience as I had with the vaccine. Comment below and uh, share your experience. I think it'd be great to, to talk about it, see how everybody dealt with their experience. Hey, are you running? Are you tired yet? 